Hey everybody, it's Edith. Hope you're doing well. Um, I just wanted to kind of give you an update and let you know where I'm at with regards to the conclusion for these uh, two case studies. Um, I have uh, done my concluding interpretations for uh, my class, three of my classmates, their uh, case studies one and two. Um, I haven't posted it yet. Um, I, I just I want to make sure that I did it correctly. So I'm gonna go back and just kind of look at them again and make sure that I did it that I did it correctly prior to posting it. Um, with regards to the the second part of the project, which is the part that uh, where I'm supposed to um, interpret the, my case study one and two and uh, see what I learned from it and what um, uh, any roadblocks that I had and, and how it kind of melded together with regards to circulation, transformation, and consequentiality. Um, I'm, I started working on that. Uh, when I looked at the samples, what I noticed is that the samples have, um, they have theirs, or they, they used rather this uh, Spark Adobe program. And so I, I went ahead and started to create mine on, on that particular, using that particular program. And I just, I, I had a lot of difficulty uh, trying to get everything um, just right. Um, so what, what, I, what I did is I, I kind of scrapped that idea, kind of gave up on that. Uh, for now, and I just put put everything on a on a regular Word document, and so as you can tell, I have you know all of my my headings, and I'm ready I'm ready to insert uh, my uh, um, my writings on that. And I know I'm like a day behind, and Dr. Garza, I apologize for that. I just started. Um, like I said, I started it on that Spark Adobe, and it just that, that really set me off, really kind of threw me off um, as far as timing is concerned. Um, I know that what I need, I, I mean, I know what I need to do, and I know what I, I, I know what I want to put in there, right in there. I just need to actually sit down and do it. Um, as you can see here, I have the images that I used. Um, I know one of the things that that I learned that I need to do is I need to be a little bit more meticulous on how I cite uh, the images, and I need to ensure that that I give um, uh, proper credit and um, to not only to the artist but to also the source from whence I uh, from whence I uh, uh, was able to obtain the material, and so. Um, that's what I'll be doing. Um, I'll be working on that tonight. Um, kind of a night owl, so I, I do better uh, working at night. So um, that's where I'm at basically right now, and um, I should be able to have something uh, ready, uh, probably in kind of a very rough draft form by tomorrow tomorrow morning. So um, anyway, that's that's where I'm at. And uh, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everybody is is rocking and rolling on their projects as well. Um, I've seen the two that are already posted, and guys, it looks great. It looks phenomenal. Um, I, I can't wait to it really. It really has inspired me to to finish up mine. Again, I apologize for being late. I've been out of town. Just got back late Sunday, and. Um, um, yeah, it's just, it's been kind of a crazy week. But anyway, um, I hope to have something here uh, pretty soon. Thank you, and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.